So Qualcomm are a partner and sponsor with us at Drayson Racing. We are their official motorsport development partner for their innovative wireless electric vehicle charging system, the Qualcomm Halo system. And our role is to develop the technology to reduce its weight, improve its efficiency such that it's really effective in racing applications, but also to promote and introduce the concept of, of wireless vehicle charging into the wider application of, of road cars. Qualcomm is a world leader in wireless technology, uh, one of the leading, most innovative companies in that whole field. So when they identified that this increasingly important market of electric vehicles presented an opportunity for them to apply that, that know-how to the wireless charging of electric cars, that created an opportunity for them to introduce the technology but also to promote the Qualcomm brand and the innovative technology that it represents to a global community. And that's what I think uh, is a great example of what this new type of Formula E racing represents. It provides an opportunity for companies that wouldn't normally look at a motorsport sponsorship opportunity to come on board with Formula E and to communicate the innovative technology which they see as being part of that exciting future to a global audience. We're involved in the development and sale of wireless charging products to auto manufacturers. Um, so initially that is the, the development of the wireless charging systems for the safety cars, the extraction vehicles in the Formula E Championship, the development of the wireless charging systems for the racing cars. We're going to be using static wireless charging to begin with. And then in the future, the development of dynamic wireless charging, being able to charge the cars as they move, which we see as a, a real opportunity to free electric cars from the constraints of the battery and the cable. We think that the potential of wireless electric charging while the car's moving, so-called dynamic charging, is enormous. The ability to install dynamic charging systems into global cities such that electric buses, taxis can start to be freed from the need to recharge when, when standing still provides an opportunity to showcase that technology from the racing first. It's an example of how the innovation and accelerated development that racing offers can then have a wider application to everyday use in our cities. And we think that that's going to take uh, two to three years to develop the prototype system. I think we can expect to see by 2018, 2019, the first application of, of dynamic charging. We'd love to race and run at Bonneville. It's uh, a very iconic place. It was uh, a real disappointment for us that a uh, once in a hundred years weather event meant that the salt flats were flooded and we couldn't uh, run even once. But uh, certainly we'd like to go there in the future, uh, maybe next year when they run the, the, the FIA Speed Week. <laughs>